Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a critical path method. With the critical path method at the very first level, I will let you know how to do a network diagram. Based on the network diagram, we should be in a position to calculate early start time and early finish time. Next to that, we will be calculating late start time, also known as LST, and late finish time, also known as LFT. Once we have done with the timing aspect, then we will look at what is the total float available. From total float, we will identify what is a free float and how to calculate the free float. And along with this, we will calculate the independent float. Let's get started. I have an activity table. Let's do the network construction first. For the activity one, there are two activities that needs to take place. So at the very first level, let me start from one, two, activity two, from node 1, there is another activity, 3. Then, in order to start the fourth activity, we should have completed second activity as well as third activity. Fourth node here, 2 to 4 we are connecting and 3 to 4 we are connecting. Again, for the fifth activity to start, we should have completed second activity and we should have completed fourth activity. So, let's see, fifth activity from 2 to 5, then we have 4 to 5. So now that we have done the network construction, let's go and fill the duration. For the activity 1 to 2, it's 13. For the activity 1 to 3, it's 12. For the activity 2 to 4, it's going to be 2. For the activity 3 to 4, it's 8. For the activity 2 to 5, it's 15. And for the activity 4 to 5, it's 2. Now that we have completed the network construction, let's identify the different path that is available to us. At the first level, we have gotten the first path 1 to 2 and 2 to 5. At the second level, we have gotten 1 to 2, 2 to 4, then 4 to 5 activity. At the third level, we have gotten 1 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. Three different paths we have. Now let's calculate the duration of every path. Path 1, focus on the yellow color. It's between 1 to 2 and 2 to 5. And what's the duration of 1 to 2? 13 plus 2 to 5 is 15. So we have gotten 28 weeks. Let's move on to path 2. Path 2, focus on the blue color, 1 to 2, then 2 to 4, then 4 to 5. So which will give us 1 to 2 is 13 weeks plus 2 to 4 is 2 weeks plus 4 to 5 is 2 weeks time. So which will give us 17 weeks. Let's calculate path 3, 1 to 3. 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. So the duration of 1 to 3 is 12. The duration of 3 to 4 is 8. And the duration of 4 to 5 is 2. So which will give us 22 weeks. For identifying the critical path, we take the maximum of the duration. Let's look at the value and take the maximum one. Max of Path 1 is 28, path 2 is 17, and path 3 is 22. The maximum is 28 weeks. 28 weeks is path 1. We will consider the path 1 to 2 and 2 to 5 as the critical path. So now that we have done the network diagram, and at the next level, we have identified the critical path. Now let's go and calculate what are the early start time, early finish time, and late start time and late finish time. Now that we have already calculated the network diagram and identified the critical path, at the next level, we have to identify the activity time. So in order to do that, what I have done in our basic network diagram, I have inserted two more boxes to accommodate EST and LFT. This is the basic diagram that we have gotten. This represents the activity and this is going to represent the early start time and this is going to represent the late finish time and on the arrow we have taken the duration this is all we have done it here 
Now let's go and calculate the early start time first. This is early start time and this is going to be late finish time. Now look at this. Whenever we commence any of the activity, especially when it is going from 1 to 2, 1 to 3, then the start time is always 0. Now take 0 plus 13, we will have 13 here. 0 plus 12, we will have 12. Now let's calculate for the activity 2 to 4. For the fourth activity, we have got two nodes coming from 2 to 4 and 3 to 4. So 13 plus 2, it's 15 here. 12 plus 8, it's 20 here. Whenever we are doing a forward pass, we always have to take the maximum value. So the maximum is 20, we are making 20 here. 20 plus 2, we have 22. I'm marking it outside because again for the fifth one, we have got another note coming from 2. The maximum of 28 comma 22 is 28. So we are marking 28 here. The calculation of EST is done. Now we have to calculate the LFT. For LFT, whatever the duration we have got in here, take the duration as such, 28. Now we have to go backwards. 28 minus 2, we will have 26 here. 26 minus 8, we will have 18 here. 18 minus 12, we will have 6 here. I'm marking it outside because we have to calculate for the activity 2 to 1 also. There is two different nodes coming in. So I have put it outside now. Once we finish this, then we will take the minimum of that. Now look at this, 28 minus 15, we have got 13 here. Now 13 minus 13, we have gotten 0 here. For the backward pass, it's always the minimum. Now minimum of 0, 6 is 0. This is the best way that we can do a early start time and a late finish time. Now let's calculate late start time and early finish time and with the float also. This activity comes from this particular table. In the same way, park the duration also. We have parked in the activity and the duration. Let's park in the early start time. When you are doing early start time, always look at the node of this activity. Only then you will have the right answer. So for the activity 1, the early start time is 0. Then again for the activity 1, the early start time is 0. For the activity 2, the early start time is 13. For the activity 3, the early start time is 12. For the activity 2, again, it's 13. For the activity 4, it's here, it's 20. When you are doing the LFT, always please be assured that you take the end node of it. For the activity 2, the late finish time is here, 13. Then for the activity 3, it's here 18. For the activity 4, it's here 26. Then again we have 4. 4 is 26 again. For the fifth one, it's here 28. Again the next one is also 5. So we are packing in 28. Let's calculate EFT now. For calculating EFT, the formula what we are going to use it EST plus duration we are going to take it so which means 0 plus 13 0 plus 12 13 plus 2 and it goes on 0 plus 13 is 13 0 plus 12 is 12 13 plus 2 is 15 12 plus 8 is 20 13 plus 15 is 28 20 plus 2 is 22 in order to calculate LST, we need LFT minus duration. So, which means you will be taking out this value and subtracting from the duration value. This is what we will be doing. In other term, subtract the values of this one with this one. So, 13 minus 13, we will have 0. 18, 18 minus 12 we will have 6 here, 26 minus 2, we will have 24, 26 minus 8, we will have 18, 28 minus 15, we will have 13, 28 minus 2, we will have 26 here. 
let's move on to the total float calculation now for calculating the total float you have two different ways to do it one you can take lft minus eft or you can take lst minus est so whichever way you go you should have the same answer say for example here 13 13 0 again 0 minus 0 it's going to be 0 18 12 we will have 6 6 minus 0 we will have 6 again 26 minus 15 we will have 11 or 24 minus 13 you are going to have 11 26 minus 26 18 minus 12 we will have 6 again now 28 minus 28 is 0 13 minus 13 again at 0 28 minus 22 at 6 26 minus 20 again at 6 at the next level we have to calculate free float so for calculating the free float we require a formula even before that at wherever this color is there just mark it as est1 and here it's est2 here est3 here est4 and here est5 wherever the duration is there mark it according to the node this is d12 duration of 12 this is duration of 13 this is duration of 24 this is duration of 34 this is duration of 25 and this is duration of 45 now let's go to the free float formula free float equal to let's say for 1 2 activity est of 2 minus est of 1 minus duration of 1 2 let's calculate the free float for the first activity the first activity is 1 to 2 so the est is 13 minus 0 minus 13 so which means 13 minus 0 minus 13 we will have so which becomes 0 now let's do it for the activity 1 2 3 also 12 minus 0 12 minus 0 we will have 12 then 12 minus 12 we will have 0 here so let me write it here so 12 minus 0 minus 12 we will still have 0 here for the activity 2 to 4 activity 2 to 4 we are going to have 20 minus 13 minus 2 we will have 5 here let's do it for 3 to 4 3 to 4 is here 20 minus 12 minus 8 which will give us a result of 0 now let's calculate the free float for 2 to 5 the EST of fifth activity is 28 and the EST of the second one is 13 minus the duration of 15 which will give us 0. Let's do it for 4 to 5. 4 to 5 is here. 28 minus 20 minus 2. We will have 6 here. I am sure this is easy to follow. For the calculation of independent float for the activity 1 to 2 the formula is est early start time of the second activity minus late finish of the first activity minus the duration of 1 to in order to do this now let's label the lft also this is lft1 lft2 lft3 this is lft4 and this is LFT5. Now for the activity 1, 2. So for EST2, EST2 is here 13 minus 0 LFT1. So 13 minus 0 minus the duration here. So minus 13, which will give us 0. In the same way, let's do it for 1, 2, 3 also. This is 1 2 3 now so for the 1 2 3 
the duration is EST is 12 minus LFT 1 is 0 minus 12 which will give us 0 again. Let's do it for 2 to 4. 2 to 4 the EST is 20 minus LFT is 13 minus 2 which will give us 5. Now let's do it for 3 to 4. EST 4 is 20 minus LFT 3 is 18 minus the duration is 8 which gives us minus 6. Within a critical path or within activity diagram the duration can never be in minus whenever you have any minus mark it as 0. Let's go and calculate the next one. Let's calculate it for 2 to 5. 2 to 5 is here. EST of 5 is 28 minus LFT of 2 is 13 minus the duration is 15 which gives us 0. In the same way let's calculate it for 4 to 5. EST 5 is 28 minus LFT 4 is 26 minus the duration 2 equal to 0. I am sure this video was informative and you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment box and I am happy to answer that. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for more such videos. This is Karpakam signing off. Good day.